Good evening, Yusana Philippines! Hello! Good evening to all of us 300 here in our Zoom meeting. And to those of you who are on Facebook Live, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. My name is Joyce Armalyosa. I'm the Head of Sales of Yusana Philippines. And welcome to the Recognizing You. Actually, it is um, my honor and a privilege to welcome all of you every Tuesday and to congratulate our new advancements. Alam niyo naman po, no, times are not that easy. No, Marami po tayo mga um, struggles and hurdles and um, it's really... Um, exceptional or talagang nakakataba ng puso no na meron tayong nire-recognize every week no we are here to really support you and to recognize your victories may it be big or small no gusto natin um we inspire each other so doon po sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon no at yung mga maglalag in pa i encourage you to please uh, paambunan po natin no ng uh, congratulatory messages and of course i hope that you will be inspired with all of them ito pong ating mga new advancements sa ating chat box po and with that, no, I'd like to also encourage and give um, uh, parang hamon. No? This is uh, to summon each and every one of you to please uh, make sure that you are included in our weekly recognition. No? It's not just about you being recognized, but really it's about you giving other people hope no? that they can also do the business, that they can also be part of something big as Yusana and they can also achieve um, as early as a director, no, a bronze director, silver, gold, we will be recognizing you and um, that you will be the next one who will be recognized in our Tuesday's uh, recognition. So with that, I'd like to pass on the time to our um, sales manager from Visayas, Ethel Alquino, to recognize our new directors. All right. Good evening, Yusana Associates. So, ready, ready na po ba ang lahat for our new directors? Our new directors for this week are Wing Wender, Rica Blanca, and Jelay Abigero. Let's give them our virtual applause. Lasmin Raimundo and Princess Tyreen Pacquiz. And for our bronze director, as of actually, our bronze director, Mary Russell Fernando, she was able to earn 800 CBT in one week. Silver Director siya, Ethel. She's our Silver Director. Alright, so for Apu, Michelle Arcanselin for the new Gold Directors announcement. Hi, good evening everyone. Congratulations to our rank advancers na no, um, commission cut off week as of um, um, commission cut off week ng August um, 7. So, um, this week, no, um, uh, we have one um, rank one who rank advance to go director, and to earn this uh, this um, rank, you need to have one thousand commission volume points in four consecutive weeks, and they are from Cebu. Congratulations, Leonardo and Riza Ramos. Yeah, let's give our virtual applause or virtual clap to our new go directors from Cebu. Congratulations, po. And now, we move on to our main event this evening. So, we will have, ano, back to you, um, sis, 
army. Thank you, Sis Mitch. All right, let me share my screen. Good evening, Yasana family. Wow. Excited na ba kayo sa training natin tonight? Okay, wait. Let me just share my screen. Uh-huh. There. Good evening, everyone, and I welcome each and every one of you to our online business series tonight and all the, the Tuesdays of August. Are you guys excited? We're live in Facebook and, of course, here at Zoom. Tonight, we're going to hear from our very own three, uh, executive three-star Diamond Director, Mr. Ryan Tan, building a solid USANA business. All right. I have other announcements yet. Okay. And for next week, humanda na rin kayo. Kindly block out your schedules all your Tuesdays of August. Next week, we're going to have Mr. Ranel Blanco, our Executive Five Star Diamond Director, to discuss to us. Leadership 101. Okay. And for the rest of August, we also have our three-star diamond director, Mr. Rich Tan, to discuss about power of the vision. And on August 31, to discuss growth mindset, we will have our executive three-star diamond director, Mr. Duarte Recalde. Okay, so block off nyo na ang inyong August, all Tuesdays. All right. And of course, guys, this is the last week of our Team Up Step Up to Bali, Indonesia. All right. Please complete all your requirements. Actually, we just have our Team Up Step Up updates reveal from 5.30 schedule today. We have around 3,000, almost 3,000 who have opted in. And please, we still have the last week to complete all your requirements in terms of SBP, in terms of your direct sponsors, and of course, your rank advancements. Okay. And of course, our special event for tonight. Hindi na natin masyadong patatagalin pa. Okay? I know all of you guys are excited, no? Uh, we all wanted to have our business with Yusana to become very solid. And we have tonight, we are very fortunate because we have our guest tonight, Mr. Ryan Tan, who is actually also a registered nurse. A graduate from UST, a million dollar club member. All right. And of course, top income earner and also top in growth. Talaga naman, really a person that we can rely on in terms of uh, strategies on how we can build our solid USANA business. Please welcome. Our executive two-star diamond director, Mr. Ryan Tan. Okay. So Ryan, take it away. Hi, Mom Army. Thanks for the introduction. And first and foremost, hello to everyone tuned in to our uh, training for tonight. So personally, I'm also uh, very excited to begin this training because I believe um, the last time I was invited for a training in USANA was a couple of months back pa. And right now that we are back to ECQ, most of us are back to ECQ, I hope everyone's keeping safe. And I really hope, no, lalo na yung mga new, big, yung mga new distributors natin, um, especially now that it's lockdown, I hope you guys are maximizing all the online trainings because um, I remember when I was starting before for us to um, really be informed no, about the business and learn all that we know now. 
physically it was face to face now that it's online might as well maximize so let's go straight down to the main business for tonight so my topic is all about uh building a solid usana business so um this topic no it would actually revolve around the concept of how do you make solid income out of usana because if you talk about usana as a business especially network marketing um there's so much misconception about it and there are actually so many haters recording in progress um iniisip nila na it's not such a lucrative business it's not a stable business so personally i thought the same when i was starting i wasn't really too sure about this business to begin with and i can relate with a lot of you especially the new ones or even the old timers who have been here for quite some time pero you don't have big results yet so um right now sorry um, i'm the hang yung screen ko ayan so Right now, no. Um, let's identify muna. Um, what are the motivations of people uh, in signing up for the business? Because usually, um, the attitude and the commitment you would put in the business would uh, always be commensurate to the reason. But kaba join in the first place? So, ako I've been doing this for over a decade, and people join for all sorts of reasons. And basing on that reason it would determine on how active they'd be pagdating sa business na to so primary reason right now bakit ba nandiyan sign up yung mga tao for a usana distributorship or a preferred customer account um right now we all know the situation there's a pandemic ongoing diba and people really want the best products to boost their health and a lot of people are curious no about what usana has to offer and after learning about how good the Yusana products are, talaga namang they really patronize and it's such a good thing. Right now, if you're not aware, um, Yusana is actually the number one health supplement in the Philippines already. So, marami in our team, no? um, they don't necessarily do the business. They just sign up because they merely want the products. So, the second type of person naman, the second type of people who sign up for a Yusana business, ito naman yung mga taong nagbaka sakali lang, yung sige, matry nga yung business na yan, if it clicks for me, di good. If I make $100, $200 a week, good, why not, di ba? Try lang natin. So, I think, based on my experience, no, um, I would say 90% of the people who sign up for Yusana, they're here just to try and hoping that they would be able to supplement their income and it's very rare for me no even for somebody who has been in the business for quite some time it's very rare to come across people na day one pa lang talaga nila na sige mentor game i really want to make one thousand dollars two thousand dollars per week out of that business because i understand no um kung titignan mo ang yusan na compensation plan even if you're already a distributor, even if you're already a member, it would be so far-fetched just to think about it. Na one day, aabot ka sa gold director, executive gold, ruby, emerald, diamond. But if you were to reconsider, no, tingnan mo yung potential income. So we're talking about potential income. There's the opportunity, but of course, you have to work hard for it. Um, You really have to be persistent. Pero if you were to look at the reward in exchange for your hard work diba? how much do gold directors make executive gold directors make potentially you could be making one thousand dollars per week as an executive gold director so pag sinabi mo namang ruby it's two thousand dollars per week so if you were to do quick math no two thousand dollars per week that's a hundred thousand per week and if you were to complete that monthly, that's almost 400,000 plus the leadership bonus. If you really build it solid, that's half a million per month. So, um, if you're a beginner here, of course, hindi yan mag register sa mind mo na dali dali, no, or just so easily, biglang aabot ka sa ganyang level. Pero, uh, tonight, if you're somebody who joined because you merely want the products, you joined because you really just want to supplement your income. I want you guys to take a second look about your reason now, why you signed up in the business. Because at the end of the day, the business that you signed up for is actually the same business that your mentor signed up for. 
the diamond director signed up for. So the potential income um, that they uh, only look up to when they were starting, it's also the same potential income that uh, you could work hard for. Na one day, maabot mo rin talaga siya through this business. So for the people who don't know me yet, I always start with this. Um, I'm not a person who's good in sales. I'm not a person talaga na business-minded. Um, when I was younger, I really had different plans. Hindi ko akalain na mag-network marketing ako as a career. Because growing up, um, I've always wanted to become a lawyer or a doctor or a film director. So yun talaga yung mga trip ko sa buhay. It just so happened back in 2007, uh, 2003, when I was applying sa mga colleges, um, usong-usong that time yung nursing. So parang halos buong sambayanan nag-nursing. So my mom told me, rather than take up kung ano-anong courses, sabi niya mag-nurse ka na lang. So unluckily, after going to UST and after passing the nursing board exam, um, bigla namang nag-recession yung United States and they decided not to hire foreign nurses anymore um, because ang daming unemployed sa kanila. And during that time, um, sabi ko kung hindi ako makapag-US, ang other option lang naman for me, hindi pa uso yung Germany, hindi pa uso yung Australia, Canada, UK for nurses, the only option for me as a nurse back then was to go to the Middle East, Saudi. So sabi ko, ano ba yan? I took up nursing. Sabi sa akin, magiging US citizen, dollars yung pay. Tapos biglang in the end, Saudi pala yung babagsakan ko. So um, I refused to go abroad kung Saudi lang. And then one day, I got invited to USANA. And initially, I did not like the idea of pitching vitamins, doing network marketing. Kaya lang, what really convinced me to give it a try? Sabi ko, kung hindi ako magi sana ang option ko lang naman was to take on a nursing job here, which pays very little. So, during my time, I tried applying sa St. Luke's BGC. We were only offering like 6,000 pesos a month. Sabi ko, I'm not willing to work for that amount kung ganyan lang. So, sabi ko, grabe. Um, St. Luke's level na yun, only 6,000 yung sweldo. So sabi ko, kung ganyan lang, uh, hindi na lang ako lalabas ng bahay, tatambay na lang ako. Until one day yun, um, I was invited to join the USANA business. And sabi ko, sige, might as well try rather versus 6,000 a month. And ito lang, no, most people forget. Um, forget my real story. So I actually joined in USANA together with Mentor Raj. So he's my business partner. And if you're gonna look at our timeline, I think most of the people here would be able to relate because uh, we were actually very mediocre, actually super duper bagal ng progress namin sa business. So just to give you an idea how slow we were when we were starting. We joined USANA gen back in January 2009. And it actually took some time before our business took off. So, bilangin nyo to guys ha. We joined January 2009. And after six months, we were only able to hit the USANA director rank. So, when you say USANA director rank, it was just a one-time $600 check. So, I remember on our first six months, on our first year, ako personally, no, um, I always thought of quitting the business. Sabi ko parang it's really not worth my time. Sabi ko ang hirap-hirap to be talking to so many people, trying to convince them to buy vitamins. Ang hirap-hirap trying to convince people to sign up. And ang hirap-hirap talaga to build a team. But what really kept me going um, during that time, sabi ko no matter how difficult Yusana was back then, I was looking at my other options. Um, if you were a nurse like me back in 2009, ang option ko lang naman was to either get into a call center job or work as a nurse. So sabi ko, eh parang hindi naman din ganun ka enticing yung mga options ko. So sabi ko, might as well give myself um, a little bit more time no, dito sa business. And yung a little bit more time na yan, it actually took um, two years more before we were able to rank advance to the next level, which was the USANA Silver Director. So ito naman, it was like $1,000 in one single week. And kung titignan nyo, it was already like two and a half years since we joined. In double effort pa kami niyan. And we were very, very slow. And ito naman, sa awa ng Diyos, no, after mag-hit ng Silver Director, nagtuloy-tuloy naman siya to Gold Director. And after that, um, after like more than a year, we were able to hit Ruby. And after Ruby, 
after more than a year again, you were able to hit Emerald, Diamond, Executive Diamond, one star, two star. And now we are actually um, Executive Two Star Diamond Directors in USANA. So right now, why am I uh, narrating this to you? No, why am I sharing this right now? Um, on our first two years in USANA, we did not make good money out of this business. It actually was very challenging. Um, yung sinasabing yung USANA, parang hindi siya um, stable career, yung network marketing. I really thought uh, all those objections about USANA were true. Pero ito naman siya nun, nung tumagal-tagal. Initially, uh, we were unable to build a network. So we kept inviting people and makaka-invite kami, makaka-sponsor, pero frustratingly, they always quit. So what we're, what what were we left to do? So we were gonna invite people again, tapos they're gonna quit. They're gonna, they're gonna invite, they're gonna quit. So we always felt na parang this business is so crazy, wala namang nangyayari. And yung peak ng frustration namin came after the first year. So this was when mentor Mel Clarion and Edward Miguel told us, sabi nila, dalhin daw namin yung group namin sa convention kasi when our, if our group attends the USANA convention, they're gonna be so inspired and they're really gonna perform. So after a year of doing USANA, the only people we were able to bring to the convention, we only had like three downlines. And we were so frustrated back then. Sabi namin, bakit ganun? Parang one year tayong nag-network, we only had like three active distributors under our team. And after like a month or two months ng convention na yan, nag-quit pa yung tatlong yan. Pero ito naman, moving forward, um, 12, 11 years later, no, we were able to assemble this team after like a decade. And kung titingnan nyo, um, hindi naman siya impossible. You just really need to persist and you really need to be intentional and you really need to uh, focus no, in terms of building a huge, huge network. So later, I'm going to give tips on how to build a huge network. So for you to be able to build a huge network, there are actually simple steps. These are actually basic. So I actually had so many things to share. First, I want to cut it down and uh, keep things no, uh, on a very basic level. So number one, if you're somebody wanting to succeed in USANA, um, it's very important that you should learn and master the business. As in, you should learn and master the business. Nine out of ten of the people who quit this business, um, what I noticed, no, since I've worked with thousands of people throughout the years, what happens usually is that they get excited after the presentation, but a lot of people who sign up, they don't do any meaningful activity, they don't get their hands dirty, they don't attend trainings. And what happens with most people after they sign up um, is this. Um, they would be told to try to sell their products. They would be told to try to hit their PPPS, build their network. But unfortunately, 9 out of 10 of people who sign up in the business, um, they have this try-try mentality. So what do I mean by try-try mentality? So they think, sige, if it clicks, they good. If not, then okay lang. Sige, I'll try making an effort. So what they do, um, they would approach siguro dalawang kaibigan nila, um, tatlong office mates nila, siblings nila, parents nila. And after talking to like 10 people, they would immediately conclude the opportunity is not for them. But for me, at the end of the day, no, if you're starting a business, you don't just talk to 10 people, uh, yung shotgun approach, bahala na. If somebody signs up, bahala na. If somebody buys my products. So for me, if you're really serious about the business, um, you should really learn the ins and outs of the business. So like what I always tell my team, whatever business you're going to open, it's impossible for you to succeed in any business unless you're a master of that business. So think of it this way. If you were to open a mineral water station, you don't just put up the capital, cough up a million pesos, hire people, oh, ito, one million, uh, kayo na magpatakbo ng mineral water station, bahala na kayo sa buhay nyo, um, wala na akong pakialam dyan. Diba? As a business person, you don't do that. If you were to start a mineral water station, even if you don't know anything about how to run a mineral water station, whether you like it or not, you're gonna have to learn everything about running that sort of business. 
Diba? You cannot just throw in money sa business na yun in the hope that your business turns profitable. So in the same way, you cannot just open a grocery store and not know how to run a grocery store. And frustratingly, diba, a lot of people join network marketing. They throw money in here. They buy products. They would try the business. And after like two weeks, three weeks of trying, they would quit and say, that business is not for me. By the end of the day, you have to realize whatever business you open, not just USANA, not just franchising, whatever sort of business, you should give, give, give it meaningful time. You should give it a uh, meaningful effort. Diba? You should be persistent until you make your business profitable. So in USANA, what are the skills that you need to learn? You need to learn how to approach people, how to market the products, how to present. You need to learn how to lead an organization. So basically, everything you need to learn and you need to master. And a lot of people, every time they realize the effort in pain, parang, oh my God, ang dami palang kailangan gawin. Nakala ko bibili lang ng products. Kailangan pala pagtutuunan mo yan ng oras. Kailangan pala e-effortan mo yan. Diba? So for me, if that's how you're thinking, you have to diba, check your mindset. Lahat ng business, lalo na itong Yusana, nasimulan mo na siya, and there's a po- big potential income that you could make out of this, might as well spend time learning and spend time mastering the business. And a lot of people, the frustration comes in next. Saan? Dito naman papasok yung mentor. I have, I've actually been in the business for over a year. I've been in the business for three years, five years. I've been attending all the trainings. I've been attending all the conventions. And yet, I've not made good money out of this. So, it's not working for me. So, for me, no, if you're somebody who claims na, sige, I'll give you, I'll cut you the slap, some slap na kahit pa paano, master mo naman na talaga si Yusana. Dito papasok yung second step. If you were to build an organization, you really need to target the right people. You need to target the right people. You need to start adding the right people. Kung baga sa traditional business, no matter how loaded you are, no matter how much cash you have, if you were to open a restaurant, you're not gonna get staff, that, uh, a staff or a manager or you're not gonna employ a crew na mas tamad pa sa'yo. Diba? A crew na mas busy pa sa'yo. So basically, if you want to succeed in this business, you want to attract the right people who are, who are perfect for your business. And when I say right people men um people would ask me mentor how would you define um the right people for my network so as you sign is a business you have to keep in mind every time you prospect you don't want to limit yourselves to people na wala lang magawa because a lot of people new to this business they have this mentality uh, of inviting people close to them or people na they know na wala namang ginagawa so it's very shallow as they try to build their network. So what do I mean by this? Um, a lot of people, what they would normally do, especially when they're scrambling to hit PPPS, we always think of, um, sige yung friend ko, tambay lang naman yan sa bahay. Sige, invitein ko yan sa'yo sana. Um, yung auntie ko, sige, wala rin yan ginagawa. Nagko-Korea novela lang yan. Sige, I'll try inviting this person also. And what I noticed, having worked with thousands of people throughout the years, I've done so many presentations. If you invite kung sino-sino lang, and if you invite 20, 20 people, 30 people, and lahat sila tamad, lahat sila, they're not goal-oriented individuals, and you offer them a business, you offer them an, an opportunity, you're always gonna end up frustrated by the end of the presentation. So what happens normally? After you present, after you pitch the presentation to them, what frustrates me even after doing the business for so long, you would encounter a lot of people who would tell you, yeah, Ryan, maganda yung products, maganda yung business, kaya lang, um, I don't think I have the time to do that, eh. Uh, maganda naman, Ryan, kaya lang, I don't think, linya ko yan. Maganda naman, kaya lang, I have no budget or I cannot make the commitment to do that type of thing. And what frustrates me, you know, hearing, uh, hearing those excuses, commonly, normally, they would come from people who actually need to augment their income. Diba? So it frustrates me when you talk to somebody 
struggling financially, you offer them an opportunity, they like it, but they don't want to move to lift a finger. Diba? And, it, and for me, what I realized, no matter how powerful, how compelling, how electrifying the presentation you give them, at the end of the day, if you're talking to a lazy person, it's gonna be very hard for you to convince that lazy person to do business. You're gonna be you're gonna be very frustrated in the end, trying to handle all the objections. But in the end, ang iira lang is yung katamaran ng taong kausap mo. So basically, when I changed my paradigm in terms of building the network, and I started targeting people who are ambitious, driven, motivated people. So every time I pitch the business to them, they love the products, they like the opportunity, and without batting an eyelash, they sign up. Because these are people, when you show them a, a good opportunity, they have goals, diba? and they see the potential of the business, they would actually grab it. And throughout the years, no, that has been our strategy um, to attract people better than us, people, be uh, people who have more connections than us, and through time, we just stuck to that basic and simple strategy. Look for people not driven. Look for people who have connections, people who have ambition. And ito lang nun, I want you. I want to show you guys how uh, our team has grown throughout the year. So we started uh, back in 2000, and as I've said, Mentor Nat was our mentor and direct sponsor. So throughout the years, ito, napalaki naman namin yung team namin to this size so this was the um training that we had in um at the yusana singapore office back in 2019 so before we were frustrated we always went back to our mentor ups not bakit ang hirap ang hirap ang hirap ang hirap pero what we realized no for you to speed things up para mapalaki mo talaga yung network mo look for high caliber people look for people who are leader materials in, in this training, let me share, uh, we actually invited here, this training was very special, because we invited Doc Sumed, so he's the one wearing checkered. So he's like an executive four-star diamond from Thailand. And Doc Sumed, when he gave that training and when he introduced himself, si Doc Sumed is actually a very successful doctor in Thailand. He's actually a very wealthy person. But... When he came across Yusana, I think in less than two years or three years, he turned executive four star. Diba? Pero if you're somebody new, and sabihin natin Doc Sumed was somebody on your prospect list, you wouldn't even dare approaching him kaagad. Because you would, most likely, you would feel intimidated. But right now, diba? Doc Sumed is actually one of the Yusana superstars from the Asia Pacific region. And beside Doc Sumed, um, who is she? Uh, she's Helen Song. So I think Helen Song is executive 9 or 10 star. So Helen Song, prior to Yusana, she had a good career going on for her, for herself. So she was an auditor for, if I'm not mistaken, KPMG in Singapore. So she's an accountant. Pero um, yung mom niya was very active in Yusana. So when she got burnt out sa work niya, and na-realize niya, sabi niya, if I were to stay on my job for the longest time, sabi niya, it would take me a decade or two decades to financially break through. And when she saw the Yusana opportunity, so she resigned as an accountant. And right now, she's full-time also in the business. And if you were to follow her Instagram, her Facebook, makikita mo talaga yung transformation niya throughout the years. And her story is also just as inspiring. So, kung makikita mo, no, um, Doc Sumed, Helen Song, um, these are people who are driven. These are people na goal-oriented. And you want people like them under your team. And thirdly, as you attract good people under your, or your organization, a lot of people, they stress uh, themselves too much. No? Mentor, but ganun? I have so many downlines, they're not moving. I have so many downlines, um, parang they're not interested naman about hitting their goals. I want to rank advance, pero my team is not moving alongside with me. And this is the problem with network marketing, diba? So first, you feel you cannot invite people, you cannot sponsor people, but there comes a time that sponsoring, inviting is not a problem for you anymore. But the next problem, the next bottleneck that you're gonna have is that you're able to sign up people but they're not trained they didn't understand the business 
they do not fully appreciate what the business actually offers them. So it's very hard to push people to work with them if they don't know the value of what they signed up for. So um, what you have to understand about network marketing, just like any other business, this is a people development business. People development business. So um, USANA is no different from San Miguel Corporation. It's no different from whatever big corporation out there in the sense that every time you, re you recruit people into your team, you have to train them. You don't just recruit a person and hope that they move. You don't just recruit a person and hope that they do their job. Every time you sign up somebody, they're your business partners, but you have to ensure that they actually understand what they signed up for. You have to ensure that they appreciate the opportunity. You have to ensure that they know what to do. So, dito, noticeably, what I said was to promote trainings and events. I did not tell you to train your team. I did not tell you to mentor your downlines. If you're a beginner, um, you, should you could just leverage on the USANA trainings. You could just leverage on the team trainings. And you could actually leverage from the uh time of your mentor the wisdom of your mentor so meaning to say if if, if anybody signs up under your team diba, whether isang tao yan dalawang tao yan you have to ensure that they're able to attend a basic training they're able to attend the product training they're able to attend your team trainings you have to ensure na na edify mo yung trainings that they're excited to attend not that not that they only attend you have to make sure that they're excited to attend so you really have to make the trains, trainings exciting for them. And as you do so, just imagine no, if every single person who joins your team um, actually understands what they should do and they're actually motivated, motivated to perform, um, it's actually uh, much, much easier no, to build a network. Building a network is much easier than you think. Sa totoo lang. You just need to master these steps. And uh, dito, you have to realize, diba? you you would normally read this quote from Facebook. Um, and this is something you should realize this early on. You don't build a business, you, you build people. And the people build your business. And this holds so true in network marketing. Diba? Teach, your downlines, um, teach your downlines, make sure that they're trained, make sure that they're equipped. And once they grow, once they mature, you're going to reap the rewards. And fourthly, if you want to build a solid USANA business, um, this is something that we learned from mentor Natsunyo uh, when we were starting. Um, sabi niya, if you really want to make good income sa USANA, you should have the discipline of uh, two things. Sabi niya, number one, you should have the discipline of having no zero week. No zero week. So meaning to say every single week, as small as $30, $50, you have to make sure that you're earning. You have to make sure that your business is profitable. It's not easy, lalo na if you're not good in sales. It's not easy if you're not the most skilled person. But if you keep pushing, if you're consistent with $30, $50, before you know it, you would already have had the capacity to um, push for $100, $200 a week. If you're consistent with $100, $200 per week, before you know it, you already have a sizable organization that could catapult your income to $400 to $600 per week. Diba? So dito, yung weekly income goals mo, diba, it's not a nice thing to have. It's not something you do when you're excited. It's something that you should do week after week after week, whether you feel good or not. Tandaan mo, walang business, walang business na pumapayag na walang income. Walang business na pumapayag na walang revenue. So, just imagine, if you owned a restaurant, diba? let's say you have a restaurant in Greenbelt or in Rockwell, and your monthly rental is half a million. And sabihin natin, ang salaries ng tao mo, half a million, but plus including your all um, other overhead expenses. If your overhead expense is 30,000 pesos a day, you would not allow na there's a day na zero ka. Diba? You're going to have to ensure that your sales go above board 1 million pesos because that's your, um, that's your overhead expense every month. 
So the problem with network marketing, the problem with Usana, we don't have any overhead expense. Diba? Whether you make zero or not, you don't directly pay for the enterprise rental. Diba? You don't directly pay for the staff. Whether you earn or not, wala ka namang overhead. That's why it's so easy to chill. It's so easy to be so complacent. And it's so easy to accept, I zero this week. Eh. Diba? And if that's the attitude that you have, it's going to be very hard for you to grow your business. Because any business, be it network marketing or traditional business, they always set weekly goals, quarterly, monthly goals, quarterly goals, diba? Meron annual targets. So dito, if you really want to expand your business, you should set weekly goals. Diba? If you're somebody na, sabihin natin, you're a believer, you were able to hit $100 per week, Diba? As, as exciting as it sounds, wow, you made your first $100 converted to Philippine Peso. Diba? That's $5,000. Not bad na rin if you're doing this part-time. But if you made $100 in one week, why not make it consistent $100 per week? Diba? If you're already consistent, consistent with $100 per week, why not push yourself to make consistent $200 weekly? And in doing so, that's what we did throughout the years. No zero week we were able to grow the organization. Because if, you, if you're consistent with the CVP income, lumalaki ng lumalaki yung organization mo as a direct result. And secondly, sabi ni mentor na, apart from having no zero week, you should always try to beat your last check. Always try to beat your last check. So meaning to say, if you're somebody, you're already consistent with $400, diba? why not try to make $450 this week? Why not try to make $600 next week? Diba? As you try to beat your last check, if that becomes a habit, yung rank advancement, before you know it, ang, um, ano na lang siya, hindi mo na siya paghihirapan, konting tumbling na lang, mag-change na yung rank mo. So you have to be conscious about that. If you're somebody who already has a big group when you're listening to my training, Diba? It's, all, it's okay naman, it's your responsibility to formulate trainings, it's your responsibility to ensure that your downlines are okay, but your primary responsibility as the leader of your organization is to always walk your talk. Meaning to say, diba? you tell your downlines to move, you tell your downlines to rank advance, you tell your downlines this is how you do things. But at the end of the day, you really have to show your downlines how it's done. Because um, we always say that the business is 80% mindset, 20% skills. 80% mindset, 20% skills. And when we say mindset, um, you're trying to pass on the mentality to your downline that this business is really doable. And the best way to convince them, there are two ways. Number one, you train them. You give them trainings. You, in, you inspire them through your words. But the most effective way is for you to show your downlines, how you're doing, that you're actually doing it, that you're able to do it. And in doing so, pag nakita ng downlines mo na, wow, yung upline ko nag-rank advance, wow, nagawa ni upline mag-director, 10 years na siyang builder. Diba? Sila, all of a sudden, they're excited on their level in sila mismo, they have this mentality, if my upline can do it, I can do it as well. And if that's the mentality of your group, diba, that they feel na they're empowered, just like you, they can, do, they can make things happen, all of a sudden, rank advancements in your team becomes the norm. So typically, if there's if off-peak, diba, walang masyadong rank advancements, the group mindset is that ang hirap naman mag-director, ang hirap naman mag-silver, ang hirap naman mag-gold, ang hirap naman mag-ruby. But in our experience, sometimes it only takes one or two or three icebreakers, one or two or three good role models in the team to break the ice and set the momentum. So if you're somebody, you want momentum and you want continuity and you want to accelerate the speed of your business, um, you have to make sure that you're rank advancing, you have to make sure that there are people in your team rank advancing. And in doing so, no, if that's the culture, it's very easy to sustain 
momentum and it's actually very easy to sustain a solid business in USANA. And this is something that I always show in my trainings because this usually comes lang like an afterthought for most. Um, and why is this important? No, you should take a screenshot of this. A lot of leaders parang lutang. Diba? They're not aware na may convention unless it's already a week prior to the convention. They know that there's a travel incentive, pero hindi nila alam magde-deadline na pala yun in like a week or in like two weeks. And they're not qualified anymore because they forgot about the deadline, they forgot about the qualification dates. So if you're really serious about this business, um, you should have this in mind all the time. So in this poster, uh, which you should keep handy, Diba, nakasulat na dyan kailan ba ang deadline for the next event? Nakasulat na dyan kailan ang deadline ng leadership summit? Nakasulat na dyan yung cut-off dates ng team up step up? Diba? So basically, you already have the deadlines uh, written down for you. And it's actually up to you to just decide ano ba yung ihihit mo sa mga yan? Ano ba yung mga willing kang pagtrabahuan sa mga yan? And right now, lalo na it's lockdown. Uh, it's lockdown season once again, especially for the people in the NCR. Diba? Wala naman tayong uh, pinaka-inaasam-asam other than to be able to travel again. And something that I want to share, so bawal daw magpakita ng income, but what I really want to share no, is ano ba yung mga meron sa USANA travel incentives? Kasi a lot of people, especially the ones who signed up last year, who never had a taste of any USANA travel incentive, um, USANA travel incentives are out of this world most of the time, lalo na if you're a first-time traveler. So one of the last trips I had with USANA was a trip to Cape Town, South Africa. So ito, we're very, uh, we were not excited nung sinabing may pa in travel incentive ang USANA to Cape Town. Kasi sabi namin, ano ba naman yan? Out of all the places na dadalhin kami ng USANA, bakit naman Africa? So nagulat na lang kami when we went to Cape Town. It's really one of the best countries I've been to. So hindi namin nakalain it would be such a cool experience being able to go to Africa, yung mga safari adventure with the rest of the team. So next year, it's uh, doubly exciting kasi um, dadalhin na naman daw sa South America, sa Peru. Diba? And hopefully, uh, meron na tayong herd immunity by that time. So we can just imagine ano bang meron sa Peru. So apart from the locations, no, we also get to meet highly inspiring people. So sa travel incentive na yan, we were able to meet mentor Gio Bakilod in mentor chat. So uh, classic yung story nila. So si mentor Gio, if you don't know him yet, he's the security guard from Singapore. But I think he's a million or two million dollar club member na rin. So after meeting them in person and after getting tips from them, we were so inspired talaga to really rank up. And ito, this was a cruise to China, Japan, Korea. And ito naman yung sa Korea. So apart from Korea, we were able to go to Spain also, not only Spain. So personally, uh, we also traveled to Amsterdam, uh, to the Netherlands. In right now, no, kung babalikan mo yung mga pa-travel incentive ng Yusana, di ba, what's in store for you next year if you really perform well this year, in the last weeks of 2021? So next year, di ba, Yusana is offering a travel to Greece, to Athens, Greece. Yusana is offering a travel incentive to Peru, a travel incentive to Bali. Di ba, and it's such an exciting prospect na after this lockdown is over, once available lang international travel, Diba? Between now and next year, diba? why not seriously consider this? Seriously consider building a solid network and qualify for all these incentives. And ako personally, I've been to Athens, Greece already. And it's so mind-blowing being there. Kasi, um, diba yung Athens, it's like a city na over a millennia old. So, thousands of years na yan. And being able to see it at up front, sobrang ano siya, um, it's nakaka ostrak talaga siya. So, di ba, next year, sobrang daming travel incentives and might as well qualify for all of those things. And right now, actually, that's the end of my training. 
di ba? Right now, considering you ha you sana has a very good business proposition, you could make big income out of it. You could enjoy lots of travel incentives because of it, di ba? Um, you could already see the potential rewards, but of course you're gonna have to build it from scratch. You're gonna have to build your network from scratch. So to summarize all that I've said, di ba? Number one. You really need to master the business. So right now, I would advise you, um, try to analyze. San ka ba mahina? Are you not good in selling? Are you not good in inviting people, giving presentations? Are you not good in training? Diba? Try to analyze your weakness. Find a mentor. Kasi you would need to master all those aspects. Secondly, you need to attract quality people in your team. So after you're able to attract quality people in your team, you need to ensure that they're able to attend trainings. And once you already have a team with you, never ever be complacent. You should always have weekly income goals. You should always uh, pressure yourself week after week after week. And lastly, you should always ensure that you're rank advancing, you're walking the talk. Diba? And pag nakita niya ng downlines mo, they're inspired by your rank advancement. They're inspired by your example. Mag-multiply yung ganyang culture under your network. Your business is gonna explode. Diba? So, in network marketing, just like kanina, diba, before ako nag-talk, meron mga nirecognize ang Yusana, new directors, new bronze, new silvers. They're not actually my teammates, pero every time people rank advance, it's really inspiring. Bakit? It's really a testament as to the doability of the business. Diba, nagagawa naman siya ng maraming tao eh. So, it means it's also something na kaya mo rin gawin. So, you just need to get your hands dirty and start building your network. So, that's all from me for tonight. Thank you guys for listening and I hope uh, this training helps you build your business. See you guys! Wow! Thank you, Sir Ryan, no? for sharing how to build a solid Yusana business. And there's really no secret, no? It's always the basic. In terms of business, you really have to learn to master the business, no? All the facets of the business. And of course, don't forget to set your goals. That's the most important thing, all right? Wow, we are maxed out in our Zoom and around 400 in our Facebook Live. Thank you, everyone, for your time tonight. Thank you, for uh, Sir Ryan, for sharing your time and your uh, wisdom to all our Yusana Associates. Thank you, everyone, and good night. See you all by next week on our next series of online business series. Thank you.